Hey, what is up guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked's Action Figure Reviews, and today I am back with another uh, Series 13 Legends figures review and unboxing to do for you guys. This time it is the legendary Cowboy Bob Orton, father of Randy Orton. Here he is in the packaging. He does come with a lot of accessories, more than the Jake and the Hurricane. It does come with the hat, uh, his uh, best pair of interchangeable hands. Uh, he does come with gloves on his actual on the actual figure, and then like a, I believe that's an elbow pad right there. Same uh, packaging legends that we've seen. Double picture right there of the same. Double picture of him right here the same um, the other ones in, in the line right there we did the review and unboxing of these guys already and now it's Cowboy Bob Orton's turn right here some info that uh, from Cowboy Bob Orton so check that out right there but yeah Legend Series 13 has been hitting target pretty hard like I've mentioned in the uh, in the last videos make sure you guys go and get that it, it now would be a good time to start a good mock collection uh, for legends which i'm doing i'm also doing an uh, ultimate edition mock uh, and of course reviewing those on the channel as well and uh what else am i doing uh legends and ultimate editions yeah those are the only two mock things i'm doing whoa this thing's this thing's pretty cool. We'll take a look, cl a closer look at it. I, it, it. I took it out and it felt heavy. Pretty good. Here is the hat. This is... This is a... I'm not sure what this is, honestly. I thought it was an elbow pad, but it looks to be some sort of arm gauntlet. like I mentioned interchangeable hands to the uh, open mic hands does he have any ties or anything no he doesn't that was super loud very loud he was deep in there then as you can tell he does have like his uh like one of my legs is also bent i hate that because then you can't stand them up pretty well oh man this thing's tight wow all right see it's just weird he doesn't stand up good but anyways let's get into the accessories here the hat looks pretty cool honestly he has a green like detailing on the inside of the hat there uh the top is very detailed as well let's see if it, it would go on him because of his hair actually yeah it, it fits on pretty good because of the hair i thought it wasn't going to but yes it fits on him pretty good now this is the this is the cool accessory right here besides the hat this is the best it's pretty heavy because of the stitching right here and all these little uh, pieces right here dangling a true cowboy vest black i think uh that's how it's supposed to be yeah it's just black it didn't have any detailing or anything but this is really high quality it's really good and then of course i think this is for his arm it's not a full um uh, elbow pad like i have said i thought it was but i think this just goes on the arm and then of course the closed i mean the open mic hands uh we've seen those thousands of times and the gloves the boxing gloves that he comes in in the packaging these are pretty sick so you can do some boxing matches i would just need the rowdy piper and the mr t to complete it uh, I think that's a ringside collectibles exclusive two pack. I'm not really sure. Gotta go check that out. But yeah, here is the uh, Cowboy Bob Borden. 
with the gloves, uh, blue trunks. He does have like these uh, sock things going up all the way in white and blue. Ace there on the boot with this uh, boot being black and white, but very loose there on the legs. I mean on the uh, foot. Other side says Ace. You can rotate the boots from the top. Uh, articulation. This is why I hate these things because they're very, very loose after a while. Even though I haven't even touched it, as you guys saw, I just opened it. Black knee pads. The leg, like I had mentioned, is like bent. Those rotate on top of the thigh there. Uh, is he on acorn? I believe he's on acorn joint as well, not on ball joint. So not good there the waist rotation is good um the ab crunch is a little bit loose not too much the arms are all right this one is super tight i don't even want to move it again this one's good double jointed elbows these are kind of stuck but as long as they're not super loose should be all good. I think this arm is a little bit loose. Just like I had said in the last video with the Hurricane that so far my legends were had pretty tight joints. And then I get this Cowboy Bob Orton that is super loose. And of course the head. Now let's test it. Head comes right off. Sweet. Alright. Uh, let's take off the boxing gloves. And let's pop this in. Pop that hand in. I believe it goes on this arm. And let's take those off. Put that hand on. Put the hat on. And the vest. Classic Bob Orton. In terms of accessories, the best figure in the set so far. I don't know if the Triple H is going to beat it. The DX gear. But anyways, there is Bob Orton next to his son, Randy Orton. Um, this Bob Orton is pretty nice. If it wasn't that loose, I would have I would have given it like a better review. But honestly, the the the, the leg is bad, the articulation is kind of loose on it, but overall likeness it looks kind of dead on to Bob Orton. The accessories I like, we get a pretty decent amount the the arm thing the vest is the, the best one in the hat and then you, of course you get the extra glove boxing gloves what more can you ask for uh let me know what you think about this bob borden um not my favorite out of the set in terms of articulation but in accessories you get pretty much your money's worth basically so let me know what you guys think down in the comments i'm definitely going to be posing this next to randy orton in my shelf Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one.